molecules with planar chirality would have a plane of symmetry if it weren't for an out-of-plane group. At least one substituent is attached to that potential plane of symmetry that destroys a plane of symmetry perpendicular to the original plane. Ironically, for planar chirality, I guess you could sort of say that there are two not quite planes of symmetry. As you see with these two examples, there are mirror image forms, thus enantiomers. We will focus upon this paracyclophane. In calculating the appropriate descriptor, the first step is to identify the pilot atom. This is an atom out of plane, but nearest to the plane. It has to be on the side of the highest priority within the plane. That would be the carboxylic acid. So this is the pilot atom. Next, we identify a sequence of atoms starting with the atom in the plane attached to the pilot atom and moving towards the higher priority, in this case, the carboxylic acid carbon. Consider the direction going from the lower to higher priority viewed from the perspective of the pilot atom. So here we see that it's clockwise. But that's not from the pilot atom's perspective. That viewpoint is from the other side as we are seeing it, and such a view would reverse from clockwise to anticlockwise. So, anticlockwise provides the descriptor S, sometimes described as PS, with a small p indicating planar chirality. The opposite enantiomer not shown here would be a clockwise movement from the pilot atom's view with a descriptor of PR.